When the Wind Blows, with Brenda Bruce as Hilda and Peter Salas as Jim. My life isn't very fast-moving or dynamic. Well, you are retired, James. You do seem a bit down, dear. Yes, well, I've been reading the papers in the public library all the morning. Oh, those things, full of rubbish. I never look at them, except the stars. Now, we must keep abreast of the international situation, Ducks, the... Decisions made by the powers that be will get to us in the end. Politics and sport, that's all they're full of. Well, it, it could affect us all. The ultimate determent in that. They say that there may be a preemptive strike, Dutch. Oh, not another strike. It's wicked. I'd have them all locked up. Is it communist? No, it's not that sort of strike, Ducks. It... It all looks pretty empty. Sausages or beef burgers, dear? Uh, sausages, thanks. It looks as if the balloon could go up at any moment. What balloon, dear? Mashed or chips? Uh, chips, thanks. Oh, I don't know. The balloon. Or is it a, a maroon? I, I, I can't remember. What are you talking about, James? It looks as if there's going to be a war, dear. Yes, they say it may break out at any time now. Well, at least you won't be called up this time, James. <laughs> You're far too old. Oh, thank you, my beloved. I'm still two years younger than you. If the worst comes to the worst, we'll just have to roll up our sleeves, tighten our belts and put on our tin hats till it's VE day again. It won't be like that this time, love. I think this one is called the Big Bang Theory. Yes. It's, uh, it's all been worked out by brilliant scientists. Well, we survived the last one. We can do it again. It'll take more than a few bombs to get me down. Yeah. We must always look on the bright side, Ducks. Mm. Nice dinner, dear. Uh -huh. Oh, better go over to Radio 4. I like two. Well, four's better for the international situation. The world at one. This is Warden Clough. The Prime Minister, speaking a few minutes ago in the House of Commons, has warned that the international situation is deteriorating rapidly and that war could break out at any time in the next two or three days. Oh, Come Civil and finish your dinner, dear. Should be put in hand immediately. Later in the programme, we'll be considering the implications of that grim Another sausage, and dear. from the Minister for Civil Defence. First, though, the news in full from Brian Perkins. Massive Russian troop movements continue along the East German border. Oh, What's the matter, dear? This is it, ducks. This is really it. I shouldn't worry too much. It'll probably all blow over. Days. Blimey. Language, James, language. Well, it's lucky I've got more leaflets from the public library only this morning. I gave the first lot to our one. Here we are, see? Protect and Survive and the Householder's Survival Guide. Now, this one should be really authoritative. It's printed by the county council. We'd better commence the construction of the inner core or refuge immediately, dear. We must do the correct thing. There's treacle tart and custard or cold bread and butter pudding. Treacle tart. Thank goodness I got those official leaflets today. Suppose I hadn't. We'd have been totally non-prepared. Just think. Do you have to dig a hole like the old Andersons in the war? Oh, no, dear, no. That's all old-fashioned. With modern scientific methods, you just use doors with cushions and books on top. Well, where on earth are we going to get doors from, James? Stuck right out here on our own in the country, miles from anywhere. Well, just unscrew them, dear. You don't mean off our own house, James. 
Well, um, well, yes, dearest. You are not going to ruin the paintwork, James. Well, don't worry. I can soon touch it in after the bomb's gone off. Well, mind you do. Ah! Oh! Oh! oh. Just you be careful. Mind that paint. Mm. expect it's a safety precaution. It'll let the blast go straight through. It says here, the inner core or refuge should be placed at an angle of 60 degrees for maximum strength. I should place it up against the wall if I were you, dear. Yeah, but which are the degrees? Oh, we haven't got any angles. Unless, unless it means in the corner. Yes, I... I I think we did it at school. Mm. I'll ring our Ron. He'll know. Good idea. If, you see, you had angles with um, with degrees in them. And I, uh, I can't remember properly. Hello? Oh, hello, son. All right. Beryl and baby. Good. Look, Ron... I'm building this governmental inner core or refuge, and it says place it at an angle of 60 degrees. Well, what does that mean exactly? Oh, it's not cobbler, son. It's in the governmental directive. You mean you, you're not constructing an inner core or refuge? I gave you the leaflet specially. What do you mean we'll all go together when we go? It's not funny. The international situation is very serious. What, well, didn't you hear the news? No, but it's our duty to carry out governmental instructions in time of war, son. We've all got to pull together in a national emergency. Now, now stop laughing, will you? This is no laughing matter. I'm surprised at you. You're supposed to be a responsible father now. A protractor. Angle at the bottom. Uh, yes, yes, Ron. Yeah, with a pin. M measure it off. Yes, yes, I see. Yes, I see. Okay, son. Thanks, thanks. Now, you listen. Just you start that inner core or refuge. It's your bounden duty, son. All right. Cheerio, son. Remember what I said. I am your father. I do know a bit about war. Love to Beryl and baby Jim. Yes, yes. Ta-ta. Oh. Ron says I need a protractor. He says I can get one at Willis's. He was killing himself, laughing, and he was singing songs. I can't understand it. I think it's nerves. He's gone a bit hysterical. He can't be drunk at this time of day. Our Ron doesn't drink. No. No, of course not, dear. No. Ron is not going to make an inner core or refuge. He says, if London cops it, then he'll cop it and not to worry Dad. <laughs> it's an irresponsible attitude. I'm a bit disappointed in him adopting that attitude. He was always a very responsible boy when he was in the Cubs. It was going to that polytechnic that spoiled him. Don't suppose it'll make a terrific amount of difference, the exact angle. It'll probably all fall down anyway, what with the bomb and that. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well, James. Yes, dear, but it is only temporary. After all, it will all be over in a flash. Funny. 
to think that they were on our side in the war. Who, dear? The Ruskies, with old Joe Stalin. Yes, he was a nice chap. I liked him, like an uncle he was. I liked his moustache and his pipe. Hmm. Roosevelt was nice, too. There was the three of them, Churchill, Roosevelt and Stalin. All good blokes. With old Hitler, Goring, and Musso, and all that mob on the other side. You somehow knew where you were then. I don't even know who the people are these days. I expect it's all done by committees, dear. Yes, and meetings. I expect they have loads and loads of meetings, and thus arrive at decisions. <laughs> commuters, too. They all use commuters these days. It all got very impersonal. Churchill with his cigar. Old Stalin with his moustache. You knew where you stood. Musa de Wop is a bigger duff lot. <coughs> Do you think they'll invade? Oh, no. Won't need to. Uh, it'll all be done by missiles. Long range. Then they'll instill commuters to take charge of it. It's funny to think there's no shelters this time. We had an old Anderson in the garden. I can see it now. We had nasturtiums growing all over it, and we painted the front green. It looked quite pretty. Next door grew cabbages on theirs. Yeah. Yeah. We had a Morris. I used to sleep in it. I stuck pin-up girls all over the inside. Betty Grable. Anne Shelton. Patricia Rock. Roof got all smoky because I used to read in bed with a candle. Yes. It was nice in the war, really. The shelters, the blackout. The all clear. Cups of tea. The ARP. Evacuees. London kids seeing cows for the first time. Old Churchill on the wireless. The nine o'clock news. Workers' playtime. It marked. There were spitfires and hurricanes up in the blue sky. Vapor trails. Old Jerry used to come over every night. Those, Those were, were the days. days. Vera Lynn singing away. There'll be blue birds over. The white cliffs of Dover. Tomorrow. Just you wait and Don't you dare use my cushions from the front room. We'll use these old ones. And I'll put them in plastic bags. I don't want finger marks getting all over them. I shouldn't worry too much, Rob. They're bound to get dusty with all the fallout coming down. It says here we've got to lay in food supplies for 14 days. Ah, I'd better put a note out for 28 pints of milk then. I'll just pop out and get 14 loaves, dear, and a protractor. Anything else you want? I fancy a nice bit of smoked haddock. But you get what you think. It'll all be on coupons soon. And mind how you go on that bike. You're too old for bikes. Huh. There's no bread, dear. <laughs> Sold out. There seems to be some sort of panic purchasing. The fish man's done a bunk, they say. Can't be helped, dear. After all, there's a war on. Or nearly, anyway. Mr Willis has sold out of protractors. I expect everyone wants 60 degrees. He was terrifically kind, Mr Willis. He cut me out a bit of carb with 60 degrees on it. Look. Oh, nice, dear. Very nice. Hmm. Here's some of the emergency supplies, dear. Uh, there's two packets of ginger nuts... A cream sponge, tin of pineapple chunks, and a tin of Christmas put. It'll all be over by Christmas. Remember, we used to say that, dear. Yeah. Nowadays, it'll all be over by tomorrow tea time. You're not decorating now, James. I've got to paint the windows white, dear. Whatever for? 
It's for the radiation, I think. Like you do greenhouses to keep out the sun. It's the correct thing. Well, it won't be that hot, surely. Well, I don't know. They say the one at Hiroshima was equal to 1,000 suns. So it is quite hot. And besides, the powers that be are making much better ones now. Science has leapt forward with giant strides. Keep doors closed to prevent the spread of fire, it says. But you've taken off half the blessed doors, James. Yes, dear. Won't that make the fire worse, then? Ah, well, um, um, well, uh, perhaps the blast will blow the fire out. Inner core or refuge looks quite cosy, doesn't it, dear? I hope those doors aren't marking the wallpaper, James. Well, come in and dry it out, please, dear. Oh, <laughs> oh well. bad job. Can't you, James? Careful, you'll have it over. <laughs> Couldn't you have made it a bit wider? It's constructed in compliance with governmental specifications, dear. Well, they might have made it wide enough for two people. Suppose you were married. We are married, dear. Yes. Well, there you are, then. What about if you had children? Where would they go? Oh, well, you just hold them in your arms. They'd soon fall asleep. Suppose they were 17 or 18, big boys with bristly chins and big boots on. Hmm? Skinheads. Well, in that case... Um... You, you just add a few more doors. There's no wall space for more doors. Oh. Oh. Well, our Ron was never a skinhead anyway. What on earth are you putting the food in there for? Well, that's where it's got to be. But why can't it stay in the larder and the fridge? Because we must not emerge for the 14 days of the national emergency. You're not saying we've got to stay in that thing for two weeks. Well, yes, dear. Ours not to reason why. We must do the correct thing. What about the cooking, then? How do I get to the cooker? We'll just have to use the little picnic stove, dear. And what about the toilet? Well, we'll have to have a potty or something, dearest. I can tell you now, James Bloggs, that I am going to go upstairs in the proper manner. But you mustn't emerge, dear. Not for the 14 days of the national emergency. All right, then. How are you going to empty the chamber pot? Well, we'll just have to empty it down the toilet, I suppose. You just said we couldn't go to the toilet. Oh, yes. Well, yeah, well... Um, well, better, better not cross our bridges till we come to them, eh? Hmm? Look on the bright side, eh, ducks? It says here, two pints of water per person per day. I wonder if we've got enough bottles. I'm measuring the water into the bottles, James. And I'll label them so that we don't get in the muddle. Oh, good. That's nice, dear. You're very efficient in a national emergency, dearest. Oh, get on with you. <laughs> it says here, D, misc, salt, tomato ketchup and sauces, pepper, matches, toilet paper, disinfectant, vitamin tablets... Tin opener, knives, forks, spoon. Oh, that's funny, there's no plates. I wonder what misc is. What's all that, dear? I don't know, it's, uh, it's called misc. Uh, pass it in, please. All right, dear. Yeah, funny. What, dear? Well, in the governmental leaflet, it says... Remove thin materials from windows. And in the county council leaflet, it says, Hang white sheets in the windows. Ah, oh, I 
one now which is correct. Oh. It says peanut butter on the list. We haven't got any. Oh, dear. Never mind, ducks. I don't like it. Nor do you. But it's on the official list. Oh, dear. Oh, don't worry, love. I expect we'll survive without it. It'll probably go all runny in the heat anyway. You get terrific heat with these bombs, you know. If there really is going to be a war, who do you think will win? Well, the Americans have tactile nuclear superiority due to their IBMs and their polar submarines. But in the event of a preemptive strike, innumerable Russian hordes will sweep across the plains of Central Europe. And then, then, the United States Technical Air Force will come roaring in with their long-range bombers, superforts, B-17s and B-19s, bristling with guns. Terrific, they are. OK, you guys, let's go. <laughs> they razor the rusty defences to the ground. Then, the Marines would parachute in and round up the populace. After that, the big generals would go over, like Ike and Monty. And then the Russians would capitulate and there'd be a condition of surrender. Then they'd instill free and fair elections. One man, one vote. And women too, nowadays, of course. And thus, the communist threat to the free world would be neutrified and democratic principles would be instilled throughout Russia, whether they liked it or not. That is the world scenario as I see it at this moment in time. It says here, place your national savings certificates, medical cards and birth certificates in a box. Here's a nice box, dear. I'll give it a good clean out. Thanks. Well, we'd better keep it in a safe place. Uh, I wonder what would be a safe place. Who's in charge of the Russians, dear? Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 well, it's not Molotov. No, Molotov's just a cocktail, I think. Khrushchev, yes, that's right. He bangs his shoe. B and K, Bulgaria and Khrushchev. That's them. What are you doing, dear? Uh, well, I'm blocking up the window in compliance with the governmental directive. It's the correct thing. Yes, uh, then there's the usual committee, of course, the Common Turn, they call it, the Soviet Supreme. They're in charge of the BJ key, that's the Secret Service, SS for short. Carlock's called the EMI-5. It's all, it's all very complicated, ducks. Well, mind you, don't scratch the polish. Right. Is it any good writing him a letter, do you think? Oh. This leader... B.J. What's-his-name. Oh. Well, what are you going to say, dear? Oh. I don't know. Um, dear sir, Mr. B.J. thing, uh, we, the people of Britain, are fed up with being bombed. We had enough of it last time with old Hitler. So will you just leave us in peace? You live your life and we'll live ours. Hope you are well. Please don't drop any bombs. Yours sincerely, Mr and Mrs J Bloggs. Well, that's very good, dear. That's very nice. It might be a bit late for the post. You know what the post is like these days. First class might just get there. But I must just do this list. Dustbin, calendar, books, games, paper, pencils... Shovel, spade, crowbar, axe, hatchet, saw, whistle and or gong for alarms. Suitcases for furniture or evacuation. String, pliers, first aid kit, safety pins, scissors, splints, aspirins, diarrhea remedy, tweezers, calamine lotion, TCP. A war crisis additions. Lice, flea powder, rodent poison, insulin, blood pressure tablets, rubber gloves, sanitary towels, mirror, toilet... Paper, eye wash. I wonder if it's true about the paper bags. Or is it just a joke? I don't know if it's a joke or not. What's that, dear? Well, 
They say you should get into a paper bag just before the bomb goes off. Whatever for? Well, I suppose it's like the white paint. It defects the heat a bit. Sounds silly to me. Well, there are some paper bags. We have the spuds from the farm in them. There should be four. But they'll be filthy, James. Are you sure that bag is clean, James? Oh, yes, dear. I've cleaned them thoroughly. And they're big enough. You see, this one's for me legs and feet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, now, this one... Uh -huh. Not for the top part. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 it's very dark in here. Oh, you do look silly. <laughs> I wonder if it's all right to have eye holes. <laughs> they say it's the crack thing to wear white. People in Hiroshima with pattern clothes got burned where the pattern was and not so much on the white bits. Even the buttons showed up. Yes, but they were Japanese. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm, mm. But is there a clean white shirt, dear, ready for the bomb? You are not going to wear that nice new one I gave you for Christmas. I don't want that spoiled. You can wear your old clothes for the bomb and save your best for afterwards. All right, dear, but is there an old white one without stripes? I don't want stripes all over me. There's an old one in the air in the kitchen, but it won't be ironed. Uh, That's all right, dear. Yeah. We are interrupting this program for an official government announcement. An enemy missile attack shut up. launched against this country. It is for God's sake, shut up! Oh, you and your blessed news. God almighty, duck! There's only three minutes to go! Oh, oh dear, I'll just get the washing in. Now come back in, you stupid bitch, get in the shelter. How dare you talk to me like that, Shut Jerry. up and get in. There's no need to forget our man. Get in, get in, get in. I've never heard such language in my life. For God's sake, get in. Oh dear. Do not leave your I've left the oven on. Oh, the cake will be burnt. This is an official. You're all shaky. Well, and never mind, ducks. We're still in one piece, eh? Yes. I think so. Wasn't it light? Yeah, yeah, terrific. Yeah, you get terrific light with these bombs. And the heat. No, it's still hot. Now, oh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't have a striped shirt on. I wonder 
how far we are from the epicenter. Or was it the hypocenter? I can't remember. What's that, dear? Well, it's the centre of it all. You know, the bullseye, sort of. Bang in the middle. Or rather, middle of the bang, rather. I... I should think we were back in the middle, dear. A direct hit. Just look at all that glass. Oh, no, it, it couldn't have been a direct hit, dear. We would have sustained more damage and suffered greater casualties. Don't talk to me about damage. Just look at those curtains. Yeah, but it would have been much worse at the epi-hypo thing, dear. I don't see how it could have been much worse. Oh, I'll never get them clean. I'll give them a good soap tonight. Blessed Germans. Ruskies, dear. Well, the... Well, the shelter stood up well, didn't it? I constructed it in compliance with governmental specifications. I hope the cushions aren't spoiled. I think... Some of them blew off in the blast. I do like nice cushions. Yeah, but there's more important things at the moment, ducks. And curtains. Cushions and curtains. I'd better get up and put them into soak now. Stay in! Oh, dear. Don't you shout at me, James. But it's the whole point, dear, is this is what the shelter's for. But the blessed bomb has gone off already. Oh, but the fallout is falling out now, you see? No, I don't see I can't see any soppy fallout. I'm getting out. Just look at all that mess. Now stay still! There's, there's not been an all clear, has there? Oh. No, that's right, no. There's not been an all clear. Well, there you are, then. All clear. Raiders passed. Remember in the shelters in the last one, eh, dear? At least us Oldens aren't new to the game, eh? I remember the blackout. Oh, yeah. Put that light out. Oh, perhaps that's how they got us. We didn't do the blackout. Oh, no, dear. It was a daylight raid. Look, that's... Look, let's, um... Let, let's try and get some sleep, eh? Hmm. Whatever is this box of sand for, James? It had better not be for what I think it's for. I've told you what I think about that subject already. Bomb or no bomb, Hitler or no Hitler. I'm going to go to the toilet in the proper manner. No, dear, it's not an earth tray. The governmental directive says it's for cleaning plates and that. Cleaning plates? Well, why shouldn't we wash them properly and dry them on a nice clean tea towel? We washed up properly all through the war. But it's to conserve emergency water supplies, dear. What is the world coming to? You see, dear. Cut my feet in. Uh, yes, dear. My old mother would have had a fit if she knew. Yes, but... Drying plates in an earth tray. Catch me eating off a plate covered in sand. <laughs> You'd be the first to complain. Mm, but... Bit of grit in your winkles and you're spitting and spluttering all over the place. Go to sleep. Tomorrow, you can just put that thing outside for someone's cat, where it belongs. Go to sleep, dear. Oh, very well, dear. I know it. Sleep time. all that mess out there. I'm getting fed up stuck in this thing. Shelter. I want to get out and tidy up. We must do the correct thing, dear. We must remain in the inner core or refuge. Ours not to reason why, ours but to... something or other. It tells you about this problem in the County Council Directive. I'll show you. Let's see. Uh, where is it now? Oh, yes, yes, here we are. During this period, reduced external stimuli may produce problems of group behaviour. Oh, yes, I see, dear. Steps to combat this may include the following. 
at intervals, stimulate group activities. Don't you dare start any stimulating, James. I'm not in the mood. No, dear. Uh, it means discussions and that. It says discussions, card games, storytelling, quizzes, etc. Oh, well. What should we discuss, then? Well, um... Oh, what about the international situation? Oh, blow the international situation. That's the cause of all the trouble. I know. What about interracial harmony in a multi-ethnic society? Good gracious, whatever's that? I saw it last week in a magazine in the public library. I learned it by heart. Interracial harmony in a multi-ethnic society. It's good, isn't it? What does it mean? I don't know. I didn't read it. I just like the words. Perhaps we'd better try storytelling. You tell me one. No, I can't. I feel funny. <laughs> You're not a baby. Well, pretend I am. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> Go on. No. <laughs> you tell me one. Don't know any. There you are, then. Oh, no. Um, what about a quiz? I spy with my little eye... Oh, not that. It's childish, James. No, it, oh, it says here, discuss the change conditions after an attack and consider how to overcome or adapt to them. Well, let's start on that one, dear. Who's going to start the ball rolling? Shall I kick off, then? Right. Here it goes. Uh, mm. uh, well, I think we could overcome the change conditions after an attack by uh, mm, all pulling our weight and uh, putting our shoulders to the wheel so that we can all pull together now that our backs are against the wall. And we can show these Jerry's, I mean, uh, Ruskies, just what we think of them. And, uh, well, uh, that's all. I think. Oh, James, you ought to be a politician. Stop striking. Mm. Mm. So's the church clock. It was mother's. Been in the family for years. What's the time? I don't know, dear. Well, I better light the candle. It's getting dark already. Oh. It's gone quite quick, the time, all things considered. Look, it says here. Reading aloud to pass the time is a good idea. Oh, it's a good job I got this book from the public library. It's called Armageddon and You. Oh. oh there's a terrific bit in it about Western defences. Now, just listen to this. There are three BMEWSs, that's Ballistic Missile Early Warning Systems, one Parks... Perimeter Acquisition Radar Attack Characterization System. Then there's NORAD, North American Air Defense, and JSS, Joint uh, Surveillance System. And then, then <laughs> there's Seven Rocks, Regional Operational Control Centers. Then there's NAJ, NATO Air Defense Ground Environment, and several AWACS, Airborne warning and control systems. All this is controlled by the NCA, National Command Authorities, by means of the NMCS, National Military Command System, which consists of an NMCC, National Military Command Centre, and an AMCC, Alternative Military Command Centre, and an NEACP, National Emergency Airborne Command Post, and it all comes under WWMCS, Worldwide Military Command and Control System. 
Come. Oh, we should be all right with that lot looking after us, eh, Ducks? But it didn't stop them from bombing us, did it? Oh. Um, well, no, I suppose not, really. Still, just think, it could have been worse. Got to look on the bright side, eh, Ducks? Besides, another thing the powers that be have created is called MAD. M-A-D. M-A-D? Yeah, MAD. Mutual Assured Destruction. I read about it in the public library. I think my old dad was in the Mutual Assured Insurance. Penny a week it was in those days. Oh, this isn't insurance, Doug. I think it covered the cost of your funeral. Yeah, well, I, I suppose this is similar. It all comes out of our taxes. He had a lovely funeral, our dad. You don't pay any taxes now, James. You're retired. Oh, I'm, I'm fully paid up. My funeral is fully assured. Oh, it's, it's time we went to bed. It's getting really dark. I'll, I'll sleep in my clothes, as it's an all-out war situation. I might be called out in the night for an emergency. Mm. We must keep up our standards, James. I'm not going to sink to the level of the Germans. I'm going to wear a proper nightie. Ruskies, dear. They may need all able-bodied men at short notice. <laughs> They soon change their mind when they see your pot-bellied little body. <laughs> oh, dear. How do you feel? Oh, dear. I ache all over. Mm, yeah, so do I. I've got a terrific headache. I still feel tired. Never mind, ducks. It probably shot the bomb and that. It's bound to upset us a bit. After all, you, you don't get a nuclear bomb every day of the week, do you? Just as well. I never knew that a bomb could give you headaches. Oh, yes, ducks. I told you these bombs have a terrific effect on all sorts of things. I'll make a nice cup of tea. That'll perk you up. Caution for the protection of the populace. Use the bottles, dear. Oh, of course, the emergency reserve supply. Oh. oh. Most of them seem to have blown over in the blast, dear. The contents have been dissipated. We should have put the corks in. Oh, what's funny, there's no red light. I think the electric's off, too. Oh, still, it seems bound to be, isn't it, eh? Conservation of energy resources. A wise governmental precaution during the period of national emergency. Good job we got the little picnic stove, eh, dear? Are there any aspirins? Oh, mind it doesn't pop, James. I can't bear it when it pops. Oh! Oh! Nothing like a cup of tea. Mm. Crumbs. I must be dreaming. The news. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's all dead. What about the telly? Oh, yes, of course. They may have filmed it all. We may see our bomb on the news. It's all dead. No picture? No. Not even just the voices? No. Nothing. All dead. 
all dead. <laughs> we just have to wait for the paper. Oh, there should be some good pictures. These bombs are quite spectacular. He's late already. Yeah, well, that's logical. There's bound to be delays and shortages during the period of national emergency. I miss the cereal on woman's hour. It was just getting interesting. Uh, uh, I must clear up. I miss the arches. I wonder if the bomb has affected the arches. And the detective thing on the telly. Shame. It's a real shame. People have been following a serial. You'd think they'd keep the serials going and nothing else. I expect they need all the channels for essential services, dear. Yes, news, news, news. There's never anything interesting on the news. They ought to put on cheerful programmes at a time like this, keep people's spirits up. Yes, but the populace has to be informed about the international situation, Duck. Oh, you and your blessed international situation. <clears throat> I haven't tried the transistor. Well, no, it seems to have packed up. Probably needs new batteries. Yes, I must pop down to Willis's. They are a price these days. 67 pence last time, just fancy. We ought to get one of these new hi-fis when your endowment policy comes up. Yes, or a stereo. I've only got two years to go. Oh, I hope Ron and Beryl are all right. Mm, I'll give them a ring. Mm. It's dead. I've slipped the lines are down. They say that there are red-hot winds of 500 miles an hour. I expect that would render the lines inoperable. I'll drop them a line. Do you think the post will be going? Oh, yes, it's bound to be. The powers that be will endeavour to maintain communications. Remember the Blitz? The post went on just the same. It's government policy. It keeps up the morale of the populace. I hope Ron is insured. You did pay ours, didn't you, James? Oh, yes, dear. The bomb won't cost us a penny. We'll be well covered. Hmm. Lovely. We can have some nice new curtains for the summer. I do feel tired. Mm. Really exhausted. And all dizzy. Nervous exhaustion due to unaccustomed lifestyle. That's what it is. How's your headache, dear? Oh, it's, uh, it's just the same, thanks. Aspirins didn't seem to do any good at all. I think I've got a temperature. I feel all hot and shivery. Well, you do look pale, dear. I should have an early night. I must clear up. Suppose someone comes and sees the place in this state. We might have visitors. Yes. Yes, the emergency services should arrive today. I'm surprised they've not come before. I expect they've got a lot of people to attend to. Oh, yes. Well, we're only an outlying district. They'll be heavily engaged within the stricken area itself. Will it be like Meals on Wheels, dear? Yes, I should think so. There'll be mobile canteens and soup kitchens, teams of doctors and nurses... Helicopters flying in blankets and medical supplies. It'll all move smoothly into action, you bet. They'll all be here in next to no time. The governmental authorities have been aware of this eventuality for years, so contingency plans will have been formulated long ago. We won't have to worry about a thing. The powers that be will get to us in the end. I hope they come soon, dear. I'm not feeling very well. Oh, would you like a bite to eat, dear? No, thanks. I'm right off food. So am I. I must go to the toilet. Oh, blessed dust everywhere. Oh, crumbs, I forgot. We're supposed to stay in the inner core or refuge. Well, it's too late now. We've been out for ages. Oh, blimey. But it was the whole point. 
I wonder if there's any radiation about. Well, I can't see anything. Well, hurry up, dear, and get back in the inner coral refuge. We've been having an early night. Well, if you can't see it, and you can't feel it, can't be doing you any harm, can it? I was sick three times in the night. My headache's even worse. Well, let's have a walk round the garden, dear. But you I've said just that... read it's only 48 hours in the inner core or refuge, not 14 days. A, a bit of fresh air is all we need. I'll get a nice lettuce. Sunday dinners early this week due to the unexpected circumstances. Oh, Crumbs. Look at that door. The paint's all gone. Scorched down to the wood. Never mind, dear. You said you'd burn it off one day. The leaves have all gone off the apple tree. Oh, yes. What a shame. Still, it'll be lovely in the spring. It is spring, dear. Listen. A dog. Oh, poor thing. I expect he's hungry. The beans look a bit shriveled. I think the lettuces have evaporated. They do have a high water content. Can you see any fallout? Falling out, James. Oh, the sun is shining. It didn't blow up the sun. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no, dear. Science is still in its infancy. What does the fallout look like, dear? I don't know. The governmental directive neglects to mention how the populace could recognise it. I expect it's like snow, ducks... Only a bit greyer. The grass looks a funny colour. Mm, yes. I'll pop down to Mr. Spong's tomorrow and get some bone meal and dried blood. He may be closed due to the bond here. What, old Spong? Miss a day's trade, not him. He'd rather die. The milkman's not been yet. He's late. Oh, well, that's logical. He's bound to be a bit late after the bomb. Perhaps he's been called up to fight or something. Oh, yes, well, maybe. But uh, they'd have got a woman or something. The road's gone all funny. Seems to have melted a bit. I expect that's why the milkman's late. He's got stuck somewhere. I wonder if there's a proper war on. I wonder... Who's winning? Never mind. It'll all be in the papers, dear. Come to think of it, he's late, too. He missed us altogether yesterday. Well, you can't expect things to be normal after the bomb. Difficulties will be experienced throughout the duration of the emergency period. 
Normality will only be assumed after the sensation of hostilities. Oh, dear. I think I'm going to be sick again. Oh, there. There, ducks. There, there. All right, ducks. All better now? I've had the most terrible diarrhea this morning. Nerves, dear. Just nerves. I'm the same, and I'm a man. Let's, uh, let's sit in the sun for a bit. I'll, I'll get the chairs out. Don't you think that we ought to clear up, dear? Yes, later on. I feel a bit weak and dizzy. <laughs> we'll make a start soon. There we are. Oh, that's nice. Oh, suppose Jerry comes this afternoon. Ruskies, dear. No, they'd wait for the fallout to clear. Too dangerous for a few days. They've got plenty of time. Situation is well in hand, you bet. Our boys will be lying in wait for them. I expect they've laid a trap. Jerry will walk straight into it. Hello. The sun's gone in. Cloud coming up. Oh, looks like rain. It started to rain. I'm going in. Rain? Well, yes, we can save it. We must put out every available container, all receptacles, maximum effort. Don't you get wet, James. You'll catch your death. We'll be all right for water for a while now, dear. Do you think rainwater's all right to drink? Oh, yes, of course it is. There's nothing purer than rainwater, is there? Everybody knows that. Perhaps I'd better boil it. Best to be on the safe side. Yes, I suppose so. We don't want to take any unnecessary risks. It may prejudice our chance of survival. What do you mean, James? We have survived, haven't we? Yes, I know, but... After the bombs on Japan, people died ages later. I, I, I forget exactly why. Perhaps they didn't take precautions. Yes. Unlike us, I expect they neglected to do the correct thing. Anyway, that was years ago. Science was in its infancy. We are better equipped to deal with the situation in the light of modern scientific knowledge. Oh, yes, nowadays there's bound to be all sorts of antidotes and protectives. When the medics get through, they'll probably just spray us with some antidote, give us a couple of pills, and in no time we'll be as right as rain. Save that for tea time. I can't bear tea without milk. Posh people have lemon in it. I know. Oh. Still, I suppose we'll have to get used to it. <laughs> After all, there's a war on. Careless talk costs lives. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think there is anyone listening to us, do you? The enemy? Well, they do have listening devices and high-altitude Renaissance aircraft. I shouldn't think we'd be bugged, though. <laughs> well, we're, we're not important enough. Bugs, James? Yes, they use bugs. They instill bugs in houses. They're horrible. Typical Germans. It was them invented German warfare. Ruskies, dear. They never give a thought to the poor housewife trying to keep the place clean. Grounds. 
I wonder if it was an American missile falling a bit short. Now, that happened in the war. Blokes getting shelled by their own guns. <laughs> Be funny if it was an American missile that had landed on us, wouldn't it, dear? I can't see it's very funny, James. No, well, uh, funny peculiar, I mean. Are they worse than the Russian ones? Oh, I shouldn't think so, love. I suspect they're all much of a muchness. They all work on the same principle. It's called mega death, I believe. So many millions of people dead per bang. Any ketchup, dear? I expect the quantity is similar either way. Are all the bangs about the same size, then? Oh, no. No, there's one megaton and ten megaton and that. It's just a question of how big a bang you want to make and how many millions of people you want to kill. Uh, some baked beans, dear? No, thanks. I'm a bit off food. Uh, then there's overkill, see? That's where they kill more people than they really need to. Now, say you want a bang big enough to kill one million people and you go and use a three million people bang. It's, it's terrifically wasteful of energy in the present economic climate. I see, dear. Yes, there's one thing about the present economic situation, see? It's such a shame we can't wash up. In order to conserve world energy resources, the powers that be will only use the smallest possible bangs. I can't bear it. I expect that's why we're still here. <laughs> we're running out of crockery. We could say we <laughs> owe our lives to the world economic procession. <laughs> Will you, ducks? There's no water, dear. Oh, no, of course. Oh, we'll just have to have milk, then. That pint has gone bad, dear. The fridge has been off. Oh, heck. Well, black coffee, then. There's still no water, dear. Well, what are we going to drink? Eh? I ask you. What are we going to drink, for God's sake? Don't shout, dearest. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just terribly thirsty. Oh, how about a nice sweet, dear? Look. Mm. It's only one left. It's a black currant throat pastille. You have it? No. You have it. Cut it in half, that's fair. in the morning, get some warfare. Hmm? Oh. At least it shows that the drains aren't blocked out. Eh? ourselves to the post-nuclear area. It could be okay wiping the slate clean, starting afresh, a new world, purged of all the old vices like London after the fire of London. The new Elizabethan age will dawn. Britannia will rise again with fresh fields and pastures new to conquer. The old empire will live again, rising like a phoenix from the ashes. James, you 
you know I haven't worn lipstick for years. Well, your lips are all red. Oh, dear. This mirror's filthy. Oh, ah. Uh, my gums are bleeding. I thought there was a funny taste. Shrinking of gums causing ill-fitting dentures. That's what it is. You'd better get to the dentist when the emergency has rescinded. There was blood when I went to the toilet this morning. Yes, me too. Piles, that is. Hoveloids. Common complaint in middle-aged people like ourselves. I'll pop down to the chemist when the crisis pales into insignificance. Get us some of those suppositories. Oh, oh dear, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, there, there, darling. Uh, there, there. Uh, oh, poor. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. All better now, eh? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> Don't upset yourself, love. Don't cry. Uh, I expect it's due to the vibration. Uh, like being in a car. You remember that time we went to Bournemouth uh, and you were sick in the coat? Uh, oh. Don't worry, ducks. Uh, there can't be anything wrong with you. Uh, I expect it's just the after effects of the bomb. <laughs> Your troubles, 
and your old, old kit back. And smile. 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 My blood. Missing hmm? your shirt. Oh, sorry, Lord. And come out too quick. Oh, uh, can I borrow the mirror, dear? Oh, 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 
When the Wind Blows Brenda Bruce was Hilda and Peter Salis, Jim. When the Wind Blows was written by Raymond Briggs and based on his cartoon book of the same name. The director was John Tideman.